In 1984 is when I started growing coffee, but I had learned coffee growing while I was still at the civil service uh, in Kiambu. I saw some people growing coffee in Kiambu, it's a coffee growing zone. So I liked the way they were, they, they, they were managing their coffee. I liked the way they were getting money from it. And I, and, and, I, and I started thinking of how I could own a farm, a coffee farm. So I looked for a transfer from Kiambu. Then I came to Nakuru, which is a coffee growing uh, county. And then uh, I chose to come to a place called uh, Solai, where they grow coffee. So I bought land here and I started planting coffee in 1984. Uh, as a coffee farmer, uh, every morning when you wake up, we go around the coffee farm. Uh, when we go around, we, 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 we go scouting, we're looking for, for, for the problems that we have in the farm. It could be concerned with the vegetation, it could be concerned with the wind, it could be concerned with the pests. So when we are going around, we check what does the coffee require. You see? So, if it requires uh, to be sprayed uh, pesticide, then we, we, we count how many trees have got pests. If they number five, then it, it means that, that uh, we need now to, to, to apply the, the pesticide for the control of that, for, 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 for the control of the pests. The other one, if it, it is uh, having a disease like the, 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 the solai dieback or the BBC, then you will see the number of the trees that have been affected by the, 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 that, that disease. Then we, we look for the fungicide, then we come and spray and we stop it. Then the other one, we, 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 are, we are checking the weeds. You see the, the height of the weed. If weed grows above uh, four inches, then it means that it is hard. Even if you spray the, herb the herbicide, it's not going to, to work. So that one, automatically we are going to use the, 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 the hard weeding. Uh, previously, we were, we were using a hard pulping machine for pulping our coffee. But currently, uh, we have installed uh, a, a, a two-pulp disc which is being operated using electricity. So now that one has made our work easier, more than the other, the, the, the other time when we were using for, for pulping our coffee. The other one uh, is that uh, we are now using spraying machines. Previously, we have been using the, 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 the hard, the, the, hard uh, the, the, the knapsacks. But now that one uses, the one that we use makes the work easier, it's faster, and we, we, we use less labor. So we are being more economical by using that uh, spraying machine. I don't know what I would be because uh, for all the years that I worked as a civil servant, uh, I prepared myself to work in a coffee plantation. So if I was not a coffee farmer, surely I don't know what I would have been because I tried, uh, I tried dairy farming. It did not work because of the, 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 the market for the milk. I tried maize farming. Again, the weather was not very good for us. The, the market was also not very good for us. But the only crop that has been giving us uh, I'm giving us some money is coffee because we have educated all our children in coffee we eat from that coffee all the, the riches that we have come, has come all the way from from the coffee production